Jackson 5, you know, <laughs> and, you know, have me on bass, Wayne on drums, and have my sister on piano, and, and me and Wayne ended up playing guitar, my sister ended up doing hair, she's a hairstylist, so. Uh, Muddy Waters. Yeah. Very influential. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, He's the king. And, yeah. and your father was with him, right? Well, my dad, yeah, he was in that generation. Um, he came to Chicago in 59, and Muddy was the man. Yeah. And him yeah. and um, Holland Wolf, all those guys were just creating that Chicago sound, man. And, uh, I got to meet Muddy when I was a little kid. I didn't realize who he was, though. Because yeah, I was a little kid. <laughs> we got a show he did with my dad in Chicago. And uh, now I wish I'd have just sat down and picked his brain or whatever. Right. Muddy was the guy, man. I mean, Muddy broke it open for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the electric blues goes, uh, yeah. in my opinion. You know, I even talked to me. About that. Oh, man, there's a lot of people that agree with that. Yeah, BB, BB said Muddy Waters opened the doors and, and BB took it like uh, So BB King, <laughs> yeah. how, how great is that to me? To be able to say you used to turn top to him. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I uh, have to pinch myself too, man, because uh, I, I grew up watching the guy on like Sanford and Son and, and then I got a to my other, you know, older years, and he was on uh, the Cosby Show, and, uh -huh. and then I'm sitting next to him, and we talking. Oh, you know, man. you know, it's just he's a great okay. guy, king of charm. Uh -huh. Not only the king of blues, but man. So he, so he's the same way when you talk to him face to face. Yes. He's on all yes. stuff on yes. his TV or whatever. He knows how to make everyone feels good, feel uh -huh. good. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a great that's, guy. That's yeah. surreal. Um, okay, so like I said, when you coming out that uh, fourth album. I'm working on it right now, man. Um, I did eight tracks with the great Steve Jordan. Mm -hmm. Steve Jordan produced uh, John Mayer's uh, Cotillion album. Mm -hmm. He did uh, Keith Richards. Um, he's, he's currently on tour with Eric Clapton. He's a drummer for Eric Clapton right now. And between all of that, <laughs> we're working on a record with me. And, and uh, I'm wow. so honored to uh, work with Steve oh Jordan. Man. He's he's awesome he's talent. So many grades. Yeah, and uh, so I'm, I'm learning patience to be cool and, and to wait uh, my uh, turn. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a hard thing to learn. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. This yeah. Is, okay, so, so the album, hopefully, the CD will be out next year. Hopefully, okay. we we going in next month to to finish up, and uh, I I got some great guests on it, man. I got the great Bobby Blue Bland uh -huh. on the on the record right before he passed away. I got Angie Stone on the record. I got my dad, Lonnie Brooks, on the record. And we got the high record, high rhythm section from the high records in Memphis playing on the, on the track. And then we got uh, Willie Weeks and, and uh, several other people that's playing on the record. It's awesome. I'm so excited. So we got, okay, this is um, obviously it's pre recorded. Yeah. Um, but you're about to go out there and just tear it up. Ronnie Baker Brooks went out there and just gonna tear it up, right? I'm gonna try, man. It's my first time in Payola. So. And uh, I played Kansas City. I played um, 
uh, T Topeka, mm -hmm. you know, I played the surrounding area a little bit, but mm -hmm. this is my first time in Payola, and I'm looking forward to it, man. The, so, what do you what do you think about the uh, small town atmosphere? The I love the, it. I love it, man. It, uh, you look, you can put me in a phone booth. If the people are there for the music, that's what everybody said. It don't matter where I'm at, really, honest to God. I, I it don't matter. Uh, I've played in front of big crowds. I played in front of small cloud crowds at uh, small towns. And usually the, the small towns get it up a little more. Right, a few more questions and then uh, I'll let you go. Uh, wow, okay, so when you were a kid, obviously you, you wanted to grow up to be this. I didn't know I was a kid. Oh, As I got really? to my late teenage, I thought I was going to be the next Michael Jordan, man. <laughs> you were Really, man. I, I thought I was going to be, you know, I played, you know, all my buddies were into sports. Uh -huh. Nobody was into blues. They used to tease me, actually. What? N not my age. I was Seriously? Playing with, I was playing with older older musicians, you know, my father's friends and so on. But you've been playing since you were a little kid, though. Yeah, So yeah. Why, how, how's it happening? I hit it. I hit it, man. A lot of my friends didn't know. They really didn't know. Some of them still don't know. <laughs> I I ran to my friend Bernard Allison, Luther Allison's son, uh -huh. and we were on the show with his dad and my dad was on the show, and and he said, "Man, I heard you play basketball. We got enough Michael Jordans. We need some more BB Kings." Oh, man. And and true. ever since then, man, I focused on music, like totally. Ain't that the truth? Because you know, my dad was saying. You can either do you get you can't do both if you're gonna be serious at it. If you're gonna be really serious, you gotta Focus dedicate it. Thing. You gotta dedicate it, yeah. And I dedicate my life to this man, so you doing yeah, right. I am. Yeah, I am in Payola. <laughs> <laughs> Roots Festival 2013. Yes, sir. Ah. So last question. All right. All right this is out there for, for the little little MCTV viewers. That's what I was kinda of leading into. Um what what would you say? To, to little Johnny, little little Billy, right there, little even Susie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they want to grow up to be whether it's a singer, right? Whether it's whatever, 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 whatever their dream is, an astronaut. What, what's your advice to them? Right there on the screen, look at them. Whatever you want to do, first of all, you have to find out what it is exactly you want to do, mm -hmm. and come from the heart. What comes from the heart reaches the heart, and uh, people will feel your sincerity when you're doing it from your heart. And uh, with, you know, with music. I come from the heart. Uh, with anything you're doing, just you mean it. You mean what you do, and you do what you mean. And, and uh, people will feel that, man. I mean, even if you're a bus driver and you love your job, They'll people feel will it. feel that. You know, and I, I'm serious about that. It's, it's like you gotta love what you do. I don't mind getting up at four in the morning. Like, like get here. We uh -huh. we left at two in the morning. We left Chicago at two in the morning. I'm pumped. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I don't mind getting up in the morning to go do what I do. Because you love it. Because I do. love it. And I would suggest to anyone that's watching, do something that you love to do. And, and um, that you don't mind getting up at four in the morning to go do. <laughs> Ronnie, thank you, man. Thank you, brother. It's been a pleasure. I All really right. appreciate it. This is uh, Paul Michael Davis, uh, Ronnie Baker Brooks, MCTV. Yeah. Rich Festival 2013. I'm done. I'm cut. Now let's go.